hi everyone welcome to this video here i will show you how you can configure shell gpt and open ai's api so that you can use the power of artificial intelligence in during your ethical hacking so first you need to search shell gpt in google and then it will open this repository and you need to visit this repository and the instructions are here given actually so you can directly pip install shell gpt and it will be configured so this video actually the aim is in uh, for example you try to configure and you found some errors so this actually video is uh, focusing more into the troubleshooting part so that you can configure it so let's uh, start okay so i will go to my kali linux machine which is here and uh, first I will actually do a sudo apt update and then update the package index list in the system and then I will do uh, check whether python 3 and pip, python 3 pip is installed or not if not like we need to install it first then we are going to actually install shell gpt so now it is updating as you can see so you can skip the video in between like if uh, you see uh, updating and all is like a long process sometimes but i can also pause the video sometimes in between to make it uh, fast so mainly i'm going to troubleshoot and successfully uh, show you how successfully we can actually install shell gpt Okay, update is done. Now we're going to sudo apt get install python. We're going to install python first. And for me actually it is already the newest version. Next we are going to use python 3 pip. So this thing these are the prerequisite uh, before we install uh, shell GPT. So next we're going to use pip install shell GPT. So first this is the problem you might face right. So when you try to install uh, shell GPT it might say that this is the error actually. Uh, so in order to resolve this we can use uh, they are suggesting break system packages we can include this command from here and then we are going to run the same command pip shell gpt and then we will uh, use this break system packages and it will install shell gpt so I have already done it but uh, this video is more as I already told you that this is about uh, troubleshooting shell GPT. So as you can see uh, requirement already satisfied and uh, this is already done for me. Now if I type shell GPT uh, it should in the first place it should ask the open API API key and then uh, you are good to go you can use shell GPT right for your ethical hacking. Uh, so it will in increase the efficiency and sky is the limit but for that you need to actually get the api so next part of the video will show you how you can actually configure uh, the uh, get the api key and also you need to subscribe because it is not free so now after installation if you guys are facing this error so i'll show you how to ins uh, resolve it so as you can see shell gpt uh, if uh, it asks you or prompt you to uh, enter the open api key you can but in some case if you skip it then uh, next time if you try to uh, do uh, start shell gpt you might face this kind of error so now you need to say like uh, we need to configure the open api key so now this part of the video you need to actually visit uh, here you can see uh, there is a uh, how you can generate the api key you can visit this link actually so when you click on this link it will bring you here so i have already created one but i will delete 
to show you the example so now in order to uh, start uh, or generate like you can generate from here or you can create a new secret key so i'll just name it my test key okay and then uh, restricted or read only like i will use all permission then create the secret key now my api key is generated from open ai right so i can use this api key now next so in order to use this api before that like i need to return to kali linux again and i can see that uh, here we have some issue actually so for that like we need to uh, enter the api key but where where do we enter the api key so for that like we need to uh, go to the config file as you can see that uh, here we don't have much information in the error but it is saying just to add it so you can see here uh, we have a config file so let's go back to the github repository and uh, here also we don't have much information but here you can see that uh, this is the location where we can configure the shell gpt uh, api key so all you have to do is visit this folder and i will show you exactly that how to do it so we'll just change the directory and uh, go to this shell gpt now i am in this directory right config shell gpt so if i do ls i'm not able to find anything because that file is hidden file so i will do ls hyphen la and now i can see the shell gpt where i need to edit or add the open ai key so site packages shell gpt config.py uh, there are some errors previously we are facing so that is how actually uh, we need to solve it so we are going to edit and add our open api key here for that i'm going to use uh, a text editor like uh, nano and uh, I'm going to edit this file. Uh, I need the sudo command permission. And here in this file, as you can see, uh, we can actually insert our open API key here in this part. So again, I will go back and copy my open API key and save it there. So now it is saved. I will do control X then yes y and then press enter to save it so now if i do cat and then dot s gpt rc and you can see uh, my key is already added now so i will clear the screen and earlier when i type s g p t so i was having that error right so now if i type s g p t no, I'm not getting any error. So I can even uh, do SGPT and hyphen hyphen help. So it will give me the help menu because I have configured the shell GPT uh, correctly. So this is uh, this video is about that only, like how we can configure shell GPT and uh, troubleshoot the error. So now actually we are good to go. We can use, but all we need to do is uh, have a api uh, subscription so help you can see there are different options that you can use shell gpt this one chat option is there so now we are actually going to uh, configure it uh, get the subscription but if i uh, try to use shell gpt as gpt and then use the shell option and try to i can use hyphen hyphen shell or hyphen s small s and then i can chat to uh, uh, have an interactive conversation that that can be actually stored and later on i can actually see the chats also so i can do uh, chat and then scan so i'll name this uh, chat as scan and then shell gpt I will ask uh, create uh, do uh, 
uh, run uh, nmap scan to discover live hosts in uh, my uh, to uh, to discover live host in my uh, environment actually uh, in this network okay so if we try to run this command now api is configured everything is working properly but still we should get error because we are not subscribed to open ai right so that you can see uh, i'm going to run this command but uh, we are getting errors as you can see uh, does not exist or you do not have access to this chat uh, gpt4 model so in order to resolve this error what we have to again do is visit this and uh, there are some pricings you can see right now we are using the free one so for that like again we need to visit uh, my profile under my profile i need to actually go to uh, billing and uh, here i need to add payment details and then actually uh, subscribe so i hope uh, this video was informative in the next video i will show you after i subscribe and add uh, a little five dollars actually around then i can actually uh, demo give you a demo on how actually we are going to so my credit is also expired and uh, that's about it actually so i need to add my payment and then subscribe and then uses payment methods and yeah so there, there was a portion where it says actually uh, how much uh, we can use and the tokens so gpt4 minimum uh, 60 tpm like how much it will like cost and all that at least five dollar we can and then start so in the next video you can expect uh, to see certain commands like i i will also create some python script uh, using shell gpt and then in my kali linux terminal uh, i will give you those demonstration how we can uh, use it for ethical hacking so i hope uh, it resolved your issues as well uh, troubleshoot i was able to troubleshoot and thanks for watching this video you can like and subscribe for more videos related to cybersecurity and ethical hacking uh, thanks for watching